Seminole Indian and Issaquah, uh, so-called Mexican Dover make up the 12 tribes. Uh, one third, you have a shot is coming to redeem. Two thirds are going to get destroyed.
that's all on the left hand side that Esau was doing that. Uh, the Most High got him uh, uh, trying to push forth this race war. Now if he get off, that's beautiful. But the reason why I say that is because our people need to wake up and realize that these crackers, these so-called white folks, these Edomites, that's their biblical nationality, don't give a good goddamn about you. You see? Meaning the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. So it, it's good if he get out. If he don't, that's the most I will not to let them, not to, lock, not to uh, let the ride or have people fight yet come about. But it's all up to the most I will, however it play out, man. Yep. And it's, it's, and it's, uh, it's, uh, matter of fact, sick of this. Because those things, those things gotta take place. It's all, it's all gonna come to a boiling point. Like I was saying, whether he get off, whether he get off, or whether he don't get off, it's still gonna come to a boiling point to where Jake is gonna uh, end up fighting these other nations, man. It's all gonna come to a boiling point, whether you want it to or not, but it's all up to the will of the Heavenly Father and His Son, man, to make that happen, man. It says, 2nd Ezra 15 and 14, it says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword of their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords with swords in their hands. Right, and that's, and that's, and that's, that's the masses of the people, and you got two-thirds of Israel gonna be mingled amongst them, because why? Two-thirds of Israel don't know that they supposed to wait up on the most high before they make a move. So they gonna be joined in that shit right with them heathens trying to fight uh, to keep this government going. Continue. It says, for the sword of their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another. What are they fighting for? For this kingdom. To, to continue to go on in this wicked society. That's why they fight, the so-called get rights. But they don't know that, uh, that the Most High is gonna send you how a shot to destroy this place. So that's why somebody that's out there fighting and following the crowd to do that, they unlearn. You see, they unlearn. They don't know the, they don't know the, the wisdom and the understanding of the Heavenly Father and His Son, according to the King James Bible. Okay, the 1611. All right. Ze Zephaniah 3 and 8. Right. Therefore, wait ye up on me. See, the elect and the, and the one that's in the know, meaning the elect, read scriptures like that. And it also tell you not to follow a multitude to do evil. So that's evil trying to fight to uphold this society. You see? We waiting on the most high, y'all watching our shot. All right. Uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore wait ye upon me, says the Lord. That's what the scriptures say. That's what the heavenly father say. Wait ye upon me. So two-thirds gonna be in that insurrection of what the brother is reading. You see? What is that? The Edwards 15? Yeah, yeah it's second Edwards 15. So two-thirds gonna be in that. Gonna be trying to fight for what? To uphold this wicked society and and the so-called get rights. No justice, no peace. So they gonna do that. So the most high gonna go gonna, gonna uh, uh uh get them killed because they unlearned. Because the most high said, wait till you upon me. Therefore, wait ye upon me, says the Lord, mm -hmm. until that day I rise up to pray. Mm -hmm. For my demonstration is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. They over there in the Middle East gathering with that military might, all nations gathering in the Middle East, and you got tension in the air about, about, about like the brothers were going into Zimmerman. So you got the nations gathering together, okay? Because the tension's in the earth, so what? So the most I can destroy them. And two thirds gonna be a part of that. The two thirds of Israel, meaning the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. But the elect out of the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, not gonna be caught up in that indignation. You see? Keep going. Start from the top again. Zephaniah 3 
Zephaniah 3 and 8. Okay. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, okay. until the day that I, ra I raise up the prey for my indignation, for the de demonstration is to gather the nation that I might assemble the kingdom to, to pour upon my indignation even all my fierce, fierce, fierce anger. That's right, because the most high pissed off because of his wicked society and Esau, and Esau on the left hand side ruling in wickedness. So if you fight trying to uphold this society and trying to get rights in this society and not coming to the Heavenly Father and getting the true rights, the true God watching me have a shot rights, or the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, he gonna destroy you. Right with them, right with them heathen. That's gonna be your lot. You see? Alright. I got this in uh hold on. I got this in uh Sirach, meaning Ecclesiastical in the Parker for 39 and 1. But he that but but he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancients and be occupied in prophecy. That's a prophecy right there saying that the, the weight upon the most side and the sun so he can raise up his prey and raise up the nation for prey so he can dump his indignation on them. That's righteous anger. So he can destroy them with thermonuclear destruction. But, but, those things, those events, and those and those prophecies about about uh, uh, how these race wars gonna take place, how the nations gonna come against each other, how uh, uh, how it's gonna be a famine, how it's gonna be martial law, how it's gonna be uh, 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 the RFID chip implemented, how America gonna collapse. All those are prophecies because they gotta come to pass, and that's why I'm saying that in uh, in Sirach 39 because the men of the Lord are occupied in prophecies, and we know what we're supposed to do according to the scriptures and not follow the ways of the heathen, which they gonna try to uphold what's in America and fight for their rights. And two thirds of Jake gonna do that. That's why they gonna get destroyed. You see, because they join with with the heathen, not the Most High. Second Ezra is 15 and 14. Okay. For the sword of their destruction draws nigh, okay. and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men. Now you're going to have two thirds of Israel in that. You're going to have two thirds of Israel in that because they unlearned. Amen. And that's, and that's, and a lot of them going to get caught up doing that race war and doing that martial law because they unlearned, you see? And that's why the scriptures say a remnant shall be in the, in the midst of the Gentile. When you look up the word remnant, that mean the ones that's left. That mean the elect. So the elect gonna sit back and wait upon the most high before they make a move to get that spiritual power. But the two thirds gonna be chronal and be in that insurrection because they love Obama and they uphold this wicked society. So a lot of them gonna get wiped out. And then, and then, while they think they fight with them little bitty bullets, Esau gonna bring out the big shit. Excuse my French, but I gotta lay it on the table like that, pursuing the uh, 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 revelations of uh, 12 and 12. Esau gonna bring out the big shit. So while you, while you uh, thinking them little guns gonna help you, two thirds of Jake gonna be in that shit, and Esau gonna bring out the big shit, man. They gonna light you up, and it's gonna wipe a whole bunch of Jakes out. A whole bunch of them, man. Hold on, slack it. Me and the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, it's gonna wipe a whole bunch of them out, man. Because they gonna be up in there. Because they love America. They want to they wanna basically see America change and, 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 and continue to be uh, established. They don't want to see it destroyed. So therefore, they're going to fight for it, right along with these heathens. For there shall be sedition among men, mm -hmm. and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. You see? Because that's what Jake going to do. Jake going to do that too. And Esau going to do it too. That's why, that, that's why the scriptures say, though hand join the hand, 
the wicked shall not go unpunished. Because uh, Jake uh, uh, is uh, uh, joined hand in hand, meaning they help Esau push forth this wickedness. They uphold this wicked society. So they gonna be in that. Jake gonna be in that. Two thirds of Jake gonna be in that right there. It says, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. Because, because guess what? Who is the king and our princes? Y'all watching me, I was shot. But two thirds of Jake think Obama is their king and they think, uh, 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 Cesar Bozier is their king and their leaders. You see? But the real leaders of, uh, of the nation of Israel is Yahweh Bashim al Shai and the, and the brothers on the highway and the byways pushing forth this truth. You see? It says, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. Because, like I was saying, that, that's them. That's them. That's two thirds of Jake and them heathens. Meaning the, meaning, uh, the Edomites, so called white people, the Arabs. Ishmaelites, the uh, Moabites, and the uh, Ammonites, the Japanese and the Chinese, Elam, the East Indians, the, the Hamites, them Africans over there, because they over here too, them Ethiopians, they over here too. So they're just giving you a, a, a synopsis on, on who going to be in that. Okay? It says, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Because in their own power. Meaning that we're meeting whatever artillery they got. They gonna trust in that. You see? Because our people have learned the ways of the so-called white men. They don't trust in Yahweh Shem was shot. They don't trust in the most side and the sun to get them out of condition. They trust in whatever they got or whatever type of artillery they got to uh push forth whatever they need to do, to strong warm, to take whatever. And the more and the more the most high afflict them, the more and more they become uh, uh, more aggressive and 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 uh, uh, and basically say, look, I'm gonna just keep 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 doing it. That's why the most high said, why should I stricken you anymore? Right. It says, a man shall desire to go into the city, into a city. And shall not be able because it's gonna be slaughter season and these cities gonna be cut off. They gonna desire to go in there, but it's gonna be Esau gonna bring so much uh hell on earth on these people that they ain't gonna be able to go in that city. It's gonna be locked down, and Esau gonna bring out everything he got because the most out on the left hand side gonna make them do it. Yep, they gonna come full force like that. Full force. They gonna bring everything they got, and they gonna use them drones too. They ain't got them for decoration. They ain't got them for decoration. They gonna use. They gonna come full force, man. And you people gonna bow down. Why? And, and get uh, uh, caught up in the slaughter because you rejected the truth when the brothers was out on the highways and the byways telling you. You ignored us. Telling you. Jeremiah 4 and 29. Done. The whole city shall flee for the noise of the horsemen and the, the bowmen. They shall go into thick thickets and climb up upon a rock. Where you at? Uh, Jeremiah 4 and 29. should go into hiding because how Esau gonna come how Esau gonna come with his power you gonna have two-thirds of Jake try to go into hiding too you see once they can't go in that city once they can't go in that city that's what they gonna do because they gonna see the destruction come man they gonna see how Esau bringing it and they ain't gonna want no parts of it 
and they gonna try to go into hiding, man. And the women gonna get caught up when you jump down. Because the women have joined themselves and painted their faces, have become uh, the, ni the nigga woman, meaning the, uh, 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 the Negro Latino and Native American woman, the nigga woman have, have uh, uh, joined herself with Babylon and joined herself with Esau by killing off the princess of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, so she gonna sit in that seat too. She not gonna be exempt from the same judgment of these heathens because the nigga woman don't wanna listen neither, so she gonna die. And that's the, that's, the, that's the end of it. And that's a righteous judgment. Every city shall be forsaken, mm -hmm. and not a man dwell therein. Yup. Every city. See that? It's going to be locked down. It's going to be so much killing. So much killing, man. This devil going to bring it, man.
shall put 10,000 to flight. That's gonna have that you have that spiritual power in order to do that. So that's part of the part of the uh, uh, deliverance too. Because with that spiritual power, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah able to protect you with that. And then the ultimate deliverance is you going in them chariots. You see? Read that again, huh? Leviticus 26 and 8. Mm -hmm. And five of you shall chase a hundred, and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight, and your enemy shall fall before you by the sword. Yep. Yep. And that's that spiritual power, man. That's the destruction we're going to bring, the spiritual power. You see? You get this one. Uh, Jer Let me get okay. this before you get that one. We're going to go back to that part. Uh, this is Psalms 1074. They wandered in the in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. So when this when this martial law kick out, like the scripture said, is when when the city be locked down and you can't go into it, you're gonna be wandering in the wilderness. And you have a lot of Edomites, man. They like to build their houses 10 miles up in the woods or out of the city limits. So when we get out there, like you said, man, brothers gonna be hungry, they're gonna be coming up in your place, man. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna be no shorts taken in that day. And then when you're in the wilderness, that's like an unknown land. You don't know what, you ain't never yep. been to that spot. Yep. You ain't never been to that spot, so you ain't gonna know how, what's going on. Like I say, man, Esau, no, oh, it's a lock it. Like the scriptures say, this man gonna come down with great wrath. This Edomite, this devil that the Bible speaks of, the so-called white man, man. It's on the Revelation 12 and 12, man. He gonna, he gonna bring it, man. Because the yep. Most High going to let him bring it on the left-hand side. And it's a lot of Jays going to get killed. And just like I was that, like I was saying in pursuing the Daniel chapter 12, like it says in uh, uh, Romans chapter 11, 20, 26, that de that deliverance is going to be Yahweh Bashim El Shai. That's the ultimate deliverance. But, but at the same time, Yahweh Bashim El Shai is going to put the spirit on the elect men to get that power, man. You know? Jeremiah 4 and 30. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Do thou clothe thyself with crimson? Oh, we go back up again. Read that again. Uh, Jeremiah. Sorry about that. It's like uh, 4 and 30. Right. And when art thou, and when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Yo, when thou art robbed, destroyed, and ruined, when this so-called white man bring it. You see? What will thou do? Keep going. Uh, through thou clothest thyself with with crimson. Yeah, that's the that's the nigga woman and the Latino uh the nigga the, the nigga Latino Native American woman, the nigga woman, she paint she paint her face, uh she paint her face with makeup trying to make herself beautiful. You see? Trying to make herself fat. Keep going. Do thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold? Mm -hmm. Do thou restest thy face with paintings and thou ridest thy face? Ridest, ridest thy face with paintings in vain shall thou make it thy, thyself fair. So, just like America have made themselves so called uh, 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 beautiful and so called fair, look at it. It's abomination. Same way with the uh, nigga woman. She a, bum she a walking abomination because she won't come back to y'all while she was shy and listen to the men of Israel. So she a walking abomination just like America. Because she have painted herself just like America and decked herself with silver and gold just like America. So she joined forces with this place. And she up on wickedness. A walking demon. I'm saying Negro, Latino, Native American woman. And if the shoe don't fit, and if the shoe, and if, if the shoe don't fit, you don't wear it. Because I know it's the most, most I got some women preserved to get delivered. So keep going. Thou lovers will despise thee. Who is thy lover? America and the so-called white man. You see? Keep going. They will seek thy life. They will seek thy life. You see? Because you're going to get caught up in that. In that famine, that martial law, the race wars. And who all going to bring it on the left hand On the left hand side? The most high going to bring it and let Esau bring it on the left hand side. Keep going. For I, for, for I have heard a voice as a woman in, tra in travail. Mm -hmm. In and, pain. Huh? And the anguish as of her 
that bring us for our first child. Yeah, because that's what it's gonna be like. It's gonna be a major pain, man. It's gonna be a major pain. Keep going. Because guess what? You did that, bamboozled the uh, the men of Israel and got the men of Israel locked up because you walking around here joining yourself with America, putting him on child support, doing everything you can to destroy him, to help the white man destroy the Negro Latinos and Native Americans. So the nigga woman gonna get caught up in it too, cause she's going right with America. The voice of thy daughter of Zion, thou, thou dwelleth herself, that spreadeth her hand, saying, Woe is me. Destruction. Now? Destruction. So when this so-called white man, your lover, in America, the place that you love, when they when 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 the Mofi put the spirit on it, on, on these Edomites to bring it, that's what you're gonna be saying. Woe is me, meaning destruction. This is uh, Luke 21 and 22. God. For these be the days of vengeance. Oh, the For vengeance of what? Of the Mosai, because he gonna use Esau as his sword. Huh? Read that again, huh? This is Luke 21 and 22. This the Lord speaking, who you ignorantly call Jesus, which is Yahweh Shot. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. May be fulfilled, man. These prophecies, that's why we occupy them. Because we know it's coming. 